Hi Aries, this is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your spring 2021 forecast. So this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. You can also take a look at your Jupiter and your North Node as well for these types of readings. So we're going to try to get some predictions here. What can you expect coming up here in the spring months? What's coming in for you? What do you need to know? What's the forecast? So we're just going to see here anything that comes through. So of course, this is very general. It is not going to be for all of you. So just take what you feel resonates with you. And do keep in mind, this could also pick up on your environment. Sometimes it does just because we're tuning into the overall energy. Okay, so I was hearing quite a few messages for you, and I'm going to see if anything else comes up here when I'm shuffling, but um, I heard I heard piece of cake, and then I heard let's get the show on the road, and then I kind of saw this vision of just a lot of infinite potential opening up for you. So some of you are ready to get the show on the road. It could be something that you're doing in business, or it could be a new project, or maybe you just want to be very motivated and ambitious moving forward. Uh, and there's something about a piece of cake. So maybe this is something that's coming up for you and maybe you're worried about it and you're going to find that it's actually a piece of cake for you because I just feel like you're, you're kind of moving into the spring with a lot of drive, a lot of ambition, or you're going to be feeling that way. I also heard this song, which was kind of interesting. I heard the song, What's Left of Me. Uh, it's kind of an old song. I don't know. I think it's in sync or I don't know. I can't remember who sings it, but I heard that song. What's left of me. You can take what's left of me. So you might want to look at the lyrics of that song. Maybe some of you are ready to leave like the last bits of yourself in um, a relationship that didn't work out, or you're just ready to proceed and to move forward. So let's see what else comes up here. Kind of like a surrender energy. Okay, so what do we have going on, Spirit, please, for the collective Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter. What's coming in for you in the spring 2021? Spring 2021. I just heard island. Maybe some of you are going to an island or this is also about um, isolation. It could be as well. Just keeping some time to yourself. Let's see here. So Spirit, what messages are coming in? Any predictions? Any forecast for the collective Aries? Whoever needs to hear this guidance, what do you need to know about what's coming in for you this spring? This is for Aries. Aries. Yeah, we have a time for healing. We have here, step out of your comfort zone. And we do have at the bottom, a new romantic cycle begins. So some of you are definitely going to be going through some healing here. And that could be maybe the island too. Maybe you're just, and the song that I had, had gotten as well. And I feel like with this step outside of your comfort zone, this is about you expanding to a lot of new potential. And so it just feels like for you, Aries, you're moving into a time where perhaps you're still healing from something, or there's going to be a little bit more time focused on your healing. And um, yeah, looking at the bottom here, We have playing it safe in reverse, which is we have step outside of your comfort zone. So take a look at where your north node is, especially if you're a north node Aries, this could be for you. Um, but it's really just going to be a time for you to step outside of your comfort zone, to step outside of maybe what you have always known. And some of you are going to be starting a new romantic cycle. It could be with a Libra. We have new moon and Libra, or this could be around the new moon and Libra, which I don't know when that is. Um, but it really feels like a new beginning for you. And it feels like kind of in the middle of your healing, um, you're going to find this cycle opening up for you. So it's kind of like when you least expect it for some of you. Yeah. 
And if you are given the chance to do something new, I think Spirit's telling you here that you have to step outside of your comfort zone um, after you do the healing, but it's also kind of like it's going to help you to heal, if that makes sense. It's going to help you to heal to step outside of your comfort zone. And this could be when you do meet a new person or when you do come into just a new spark in your life here. Some of you, I feel behind a mask. Maybe you are hiding something about yourself and it's kind of like with that step outside of the comfort zone too, or you're just maybe not taking as many risks as you would like to. And I think for you, you're, you're pretty much a, I think you're a very ambitious person naturally. So I think for some of you, maybe you have just been trying to suppress it or you've been trying to heal and it's going to be a time for you again to kind of just expose it all in terms of the new start for you. What's coming in for Aries in the spring? Yeah, so I will say, I feel some of you, you are still going to be healing from some fragmented energy. This is a number six card, which really reminds me of like the six of cups here. There's all these puzzle pieces here of her soul, of her heart. And that's kind of like that song I had too. You can take the pieces of me or whatever it is. So this could be for some of you, if you have been battling with a, um, a previous relationship or maybe somebody is attached to you, it could be either way. This is about having to step out of this with the dark thoughts card. And I feel like you have to allow yourself that time to heal and you have to allow yourself that time to go through this process. But at the same time, we have intuition and manifestation. And I feel like this is going to be the time for you to with the number three card too, to really envision what you want moving forward. Some of you need to put your focus a little bit more on your goals and your manifestations, or you are going to be. I think for most of you, you're going to be. And so it's going to be a time for you to really have this new potential open up for you. But if you need to take the time to heal, moving into the spring, I feel like you are going to be doing that. You're going to be going through a process first of healing, of washing away any maybe fragments or it could even be deeper healing. It could be a shadow work here. Um, it's, it's sort of like your thoughts have been holding you back is what I'm picking up on here. And this is not really in your nature. And I feel like you're encouraged to really kind of move forward in a fiery way. And it's going to help you to manifest a new cycle, especially in romance for a lot, for a lot of you. And if it's not romance yet, it's going to help you to align to that place where you could meet a romantic partner. So what's coming in for Aries in the spring 2021? Anything else, Spirit, that's opening up for Aries in the spring? What's coming in for you? Okay, so your root chakra is going to be really important. We have the root chakra, we have wash away the old, and we have find the little joys. Yes, so I do feel this is confirming here as well. We have respect yourself and be respected. We have purify your life behind that too. So we do have purify, we have healing, we have fragmented energy. Um, some of you, this could be a specific wound or trauma that is existing within your root chakra here, which is actually with the step outside of your comfort zone too. It could be about you feeling like you need to create more stability in your life here, um, especially in terms of maybe connecting with another person and in, in, in a um uh, in a stable way, because sometimes when our root chakra is not balanced, you know, we can kind of bounce around to different places or we can't really find home. And it's really the, the, the seat of our, of our soul when it comes to being grounded, when it comes to really um, being abundant. And so I feel like some of you, you are going to be moving into the spring here in a more light way, in a, in a way where you're going to be seeing more joy around you, but it's also going to be a process for you, I feel, to implement that, to focus on that, to focus your intention, your manifestation on that here. 
Because I will say something could be holding you back entirely from this with the fragments and the root chakra, wash away the old. So if something makes you feel still uneasy, it might be time to look at your root chakra or what you can kind of clear because it's going to help you to manifest a new cycle, especially in romance, but anything really. And that's what I'm picking up for you. So if you're looking to manifest love, or if you just want a new beginning in general, shift your focus. So what's coming in for Aries in the spring? Anything else, Spirit? What's coming in for Aries in the spring 2021? Any other messages that's coming in for you? We have meditate. The answer lies within. We have reevaluate your own actions. So, yeah, I will say this, this, and this may not be for all of you, or this could even be attached to another person here too, for some people. This part I do feel like is you though. There is a cycle opening up for you. You are going to be stepping outside of your comfort zone, but there's something here about having to go back within the self. So if something is not working for you, or if you, if you find yourself maybe, you know, slipping back into old patterns, or if you just can't seem to put your intention or whatever you could be struggling with here, it's almost like there's, there's a, I'm, I'm getting a visual of something kind of, of tying you down like an anchor. And I feel like it's rooted in the root chakra. And this is something I feel with the meditate to and contemplate, reevaluate your own actions. This is essentially starting with the self. And so some of you need to maybe ground yourself a little bit more to get more aligned with yourself i think that's going to be really important and there could be something within your own actions here and if so i feel like this is speaking more to your own actions in the sense that how should i explain like you you may have manifested certain things that either kept repeating into your life or you're being encouraged to kind of have to evaluate your own self. Um, I can't think of the word I'm looking for, but there's something about the fragments and respect yourself and purify and reevaluate your own actions that is going to be central to you healing first before you begin this. And so that's going to be, I think, what you're working through maybe now and up until the spring is going to be a really important thing to work through. And if you are struggling to manifest money, or if you have just a sense of instability in your life, that's going to also help quite a bit because something is, is literally fragmented here. It's not allowing the flow of, of abundance to fully come in for you. And so I feel this is going to be um, that time period for you to heal and also focus on gratitude for what you do have moving forward. So what's going on for Aries? What's coming in for you in the spring 2021? Spring 2021. And I'm noticing we have the four of wands here at the bottom too. And I didn't see these, these cards yet. Ten of Swords and the Four of Wands, and we have the Six of Cups in reverse. This is very, very much about that with the Root Chakra. Um, I think I referenced the Six of Cups here too. So if this is you here, Aries, or maybe some that you're connected to, however it could resonate, there's a deep-seated pain or trauma or wound existing around the Root Chakra. Childhood, it could be as well. Or maybe you just have struggled to find that sense of security, that sense of home foundation with the four of wands. And what I feel is that you are going to be getting this. This is going to come in for you with the four of wands because it's in the upright position here too. But it's, it's something about like not repeating the same thing. 
we have marine life richness yes so this is a beautiful card of abundance you know there's all these fish and it just is a very abundant card so you are going to be moving into a lot of abundance and that's part of this too anything else coming in for aries fluidity the outer core and we have plants growth so yes so this is a time for growth for you this is um of course this is the root chakra too it's connected to the earth so really connect to the earth can be very healing for you right now moving into the spring you know when everything begins to bloom um it's going to be really important for you to connect to the earth and to kind of ground yourself and center yourself and the reason behind that is to ultimately create more abundance into your life and so i feel like with this fluidity outer core um there's this water all around here so the water could be important to the ocean salt but it's also given me the feeling of of change of being fluid of you know, having to, it's like the balance between being open to new possibilities while still being grounded and rooted is what I'm getting here. And, and ensuring that it's kind of like when you grow something and when you bring something into fruition, that you're sure that it lasts and that it's secure and stable and that it's not coming from maybe a place where you're still either holding on to a wound or that you're, you know, So let's see, what is coming in for you? What is coming in for Aries in the spring? What's ahead for you? What is forecasted for you, Aries, in the next few months? What's going to happen here? What is what's coming in? Aries, what's coming in? We have the universe, which is the world. We have it sideways here. We have the queen of swords. And we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. And we have here the Ace of Cups with the Death in reverse. Yeah, this is really beautiful because I do feel like you are with the Ace of Cups here. This is about self-love. This is about, you know, the cup that we have to offer to somebody to meet that person halfway. And since the cards that have come through here are indicating that there is still more healing for you to do with the Eight of Cups to be in reverse. So it's not, it doesn't necessarily have to be that you're not ready to move on. Even if you're ready to move on from something, or even if you're ready to step away, it can still kind of hold you back because you haven't healed the core wound is what I'm getting here. And so this is going to be a time I feel for you to go through a really massive transformation with the death card in reverse. And what you're going to come out of with this is going to be more gratitude, more um, present energy, and also a new romantic cycle a new person, a new love. For some of you, you might know who this is. And I think for others of you, this is just the energy that's awaiting you. It's like it's waiting here for you. But you have to kind of make sure that you have healed first with the world here, that you have closed that chapter. Um, I do feel like with this Queen of Swords, let's clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries. Yes, the Nine of Cups in reverse with the Lovers. So I definitely see a connection coming in for you. There's definitely love opening up for you. But again, I feel like with the Queen of Swords to be here too and the Nine of Cups in reverse, it can kind of be a little bit of self-sabotage and you may not even be doing that intentionally. That's kind of what I'm getting. It's, it's almost like, for example, uh, spirit could be holding you back from bringing this love into your life because of the fact that perhaps with this nine of cups in reverse, you it's like you're maybe you are not ready to receive it or there's something that you're still working through because we have the eight and the nine of cups. But the lovers is about higher commitments, higher love. 
I'm seeing peaceful resolution. So for those of you who already have a connection existing in your life here, I feel like you're needing to come to a peaceful resolution or you're needing to come to um, some form of closure here. And that's kind of what the song I was getting to earlier. And also this fragmented energy. It's like there's a need to close up the gaps, if that makes sense. And so for some of you, you are going to be having to kind of close those doors before you have this new person entering your life and it's going to take off for you it's going to be a new cycle for some of you it could be the same person because this card here says a new cycle begins so it could just be a new cycle with the same person for some of you but it's going to it's going to take a, a major transformation and maybe you both have the same wounds you know maybe this this could be the other person too the root chakra but somebody here i feel definitely needs to focus on um, being whole within the self first and also letting go of any pain that has been maybe still stuck in the body, you know, or attached here. So what's coming in for Aries in the spring? Whoops, I just dropped all those cards. This card flew out. Decisions. Let's see what else. So this could definitely require some some decision making here. So anything else coming in for Aries in the spring? Anything else? We have business venture within the next few weeks. So some of you are going to be going on a business venture in the next few weeks. It says here, trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. So on a different level, aside from just love, um, this is going to be a time for you to build a new, maybe a new career, or you're coming into a new opportunity within business in the next few weeks. So maybe in April, this could be happening for you. But I feel like what Spirit's bringing up in the reading here is, is actually more focused on you. So it's sort of like having to ensure that you have healed entirely before you emerge and then when you do you're going to be really focusing on getting the show on the road this new person could be somebody that you work with for some of you what's coming in for aries in the spring We have sobriety. That's too many. So sobriety is just, it's kind of interesting because the root chakra can point to addictions too or codependencies when it's not balanced. So this is just sobriety in terms of becoming maybe more of a clear um, vessel or releasing any, any, any habits or codependencies or somebody could be doing this here too. It doesn't have to be necessarily like becoming sober. I see it more as um, recovery. We have summer. So this is this is going to shift in the summer. It, it actually flew right on top of the lovers here too. So some of you do have a new love coming in in the summer. Let me just confirm that so we can see what that's about. So there's something in the summer. Maybe you, you could meet them before the summer. But again, I feel like something here has to be um, prepared and balanced and ready for this to really take off the ground. Can we confirm what's happening in the summer for Aries? It says here, everything that you've asked for is coming true in the summer. So where I am, where I'm channeling from, that would probably be like, you know, July, August. What's happening for Aries in the summer? Everything is about to change. We have maybe it will require a lot of hard work. We do have here make a U-turn before the wrong choice is made. So I feel like some of you may have to make a decision here. And this, this decision could be happening in the summer. Or you are currently having to go down a different path right now. And it's going to shift for you. Everything's about to change. And so for some of you... I'm getting that what's going to change for you is going to be somewhere between the next few weeks and the summer, but it also could be that something's happening here in the next few weeks. And then the summertime, there's going to be something else that's going to shift for you that you're going to have to make a choice about. 
And I feel like it is about love. Because the lovers is about a choice as well. So anything else, spirit, that's coming in for Aries? And like it says here, it will require a lot of hard work. So, and that doesn't mean this can't happen or whatever this is isn't going to happen. I just feel like there's more of a foundation that has to be set from what I'm picking up on in the reading, whatever that means for you. So more of a foundation in a connection or more of a foundation in a business opportunity to actually build that off the ground. So what's coming in for Aries in the, in the um, spring 2021? Again, we have memory. So we have fragmented energy. We have memory. We do have here intoxication and stupor. We have inner flow and we have saving grace. So the inner flow is going to be really important. The moon cycles are going to be really important. We have mindfulness here. So I think this is just confirming, again, a lot of you are clearing or you're being encouraged right now. If you want to have a more abundant, um, you know, if you want to have a more abundant spring and summer really make sure that you are also healing if this is you here because we do have stress and negativity as well so whatever is causing you the sense of stress and negativity it is going to have to be transmuted to a more clear energy and this is going to require you to be more mindful more present and you are going to have manifestations coming true for you here it's just going to take a little bit more work to be honest with you Anything else coming in for Aries? Let's just get one of these and then we'll get the tea leaf cards. Yeah, be fearless and bold. So that's what I had in the beginning too. This is going to require you to be fearless and bold. Um, let's get one more for Aries. What's coming in for Aries? Clear out the clutter. Yep. Something's cluttering here. So let's get these and see. Any other predictions for Aries in the spring? I feel like for you, it's like the spring and the summer that things will be happening. But within the next few weeks from when I'm recording this would probably be like mid-April. So anything else coming in for Aries Spirit before we close the reading? Anything else this spring? What can they expect? <laughs> Doing something risky, taking a chance. Yeah, so we have to be fearless. So I think that's why I said in the beginning too, this is going to take a, a chance for you. We have then we have something here, step outside of your comfort zone. So it's kind of like, I feel you're being encouraged to step outside of your comfort zone for sure. But there is something to work through again, when it comes to maybe what is keeping you in a state of not either seeing this potential or what is keeping you in a state of maybe fearing this risk or this chance. And I feel like this has to do with the, again, the root chakra, some things from the past that are still around you. And this is going to be important to to you know, karma, you will reap what you have sown. It's like you're clearing a lot of karma, I feel. This is a time for you to clear that. It's coming in for Aries. But to kind of summarize it, I do feel like you're going to be having a new chance to, for a lot of you, it is going to be in, in business and career. And then kind of the cherry on top is going to be love. And so if you have the opportunity in the next few weeks or even in the summer, to take a chance, then do that. Really take that chance, but try to let go of the fear that's holding you back or the stress or the um, emotions or the memories. We have here time to go out and have fun. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be a time for you to really go out and have fun. We have saving grace. Something about what's coming in for you is going to lift you up. It's going to empower you. It's also going to, it's also going to help you to heal. 
It's going to be like a purification process for you. But it's time to let go of what's weighing you down, what's anchoring you down. Go out and have fun. Taking the high road. So let's just get a last card for this lover's. What do we need to know about the lovers for Aries, the new romantic cycle, the lovers? We have family wishes come true, okay? Um, so that could be something that you've always wanted to maybe, you know, have a family. There's a couple here with, with some dogs. It could be that some of you want to have a family or there's something you've really wanted. What is the lovers for Aries coming in? Okay, we have indecisiveness, allowing your life to ram, ramble aimlessly. The most difficult part is over, yes. August. So August, particularly in the summer, is going to be important. Something is going to come to an end in August, but it's it's more of actually a positive ending, if that makes sense. So intuitively, I'm kind of picking up that some of you are going to kind of realize why you have been waiting around August. And I think it's going to be because of a connection in your life that's coming in for you. But it is going to require risk. It's going to require a chance. And it's going to require healing from your past. And when this does come in for you, um, maybe around August, it's going to help you get on track. It's going to be something that's going to come true for you. Okay. So I hope this could help you Aries. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for stopping by. I wish you the best and I'll talk to you next time. Much love.